Hello, and welcome to Slid Off Products. Here on my channel, I'm currently working on my grow light video, and I realize I need to cover one topic very briefly. What is aquaponics? Aquaponics is the combination between aquaculture and hydroponics. Hydroponics is just growing plants outside of soil using some sort of alternative technique. Typically, you're using something like NFT, or nutrient film technique, which involves a constantly moving stream of water over your plant's roots, DWC, or deep water culture, which involves having the plant's roots actually submerged in water, or using some sort of grow bed. Grow beds are typically uh, ebb and flow systems, and typically, or a flood and drain, um, which allows the water level to constantly raise and lower throughout the day multiple times a day. Uh, typically, media beds are made with uh, some sort of alternative media, so they either use like clay pebbles, um, some pH neutral stone, or in the case of the grow stone behind me, I'm actually using glass. Aquaculture, on the other hand, is the farm raising of fish. A typical aquaculture system has a fish tank, some sort of mechanical filter to remove the solids, and then a biological filter to break down the remaining harmful chemicals in the system. With aquaponics, we actually use our own systems to break down those harmful chemicals into something useful. In aquaponics, we take uh, the fish tank and the mechanical filter to remove the bulk of the uh, solids from the system, and then we use our grow beds as the um, biological filter to be able to break down those chemicals that the fish excrete into a useful chemical, specifically nitrates, which is, becomes the nitrogen-rich fertilizer that is used in our system. A brief overview of the nitrogen cycle, um, fish excrete ammonia. Ammonia is toxic to them and in higher concentrations it will kill them. Uh, ammonia actually attracts another a form of bacteria called nitrosoma. Nitrosoma breaks down the ammonia and turns it into nitrites. Nitrates are also still toxic to fish and once they build up to a certain point, again, you'll kill your fish. Nitrites, however, um, attract a third colony of bacteria, a second colony of bacteria that is called nitrobacter. Nitrobacter takes the nitrites and converts them into nitrates. Nitrates are relatively harmless to fish. Fish don't even notice they're there. Um, if you have too high of a nitrate level, your fish can taste a little bit muddy, but that's just something to be able to be aware of later. In an aquaculture system, you have to deal with these nitrates. So you have to do a water change. You have to lower that nitrate level in some way. With aquaponics, we're doing that with our plants because those nitrates are actually nitrogen-rich fertilizer that our plants use to grow. So we're using the waste from the fish to be able to grow our plants. Um, the other benefit is, because we're doing this, we don't have to do a water change. And that is a really big uh, drawback to both aquaponics, I mean uh, aquaculture, and hydroponics. Hydroponics, you're constantly adding in um, some sort of chemical fertilizer into your plants so that your plants can grow. However, this creates a problem because eventually the chemicals in there will concentrate and can become toxic to your plants. So every week to two weeks to a month max, you have to do a complete water change. So if you have a 500-gallon gallon sump tank, that's 500 gallons of water you have to dump every month. That's a problem. That's a really big problem in drought ridden areas. Aquaponics gets around this by actually taking those chemicals out of the system so that the only thing you actually have to ever input into your system is a good quality fish food and water. You just have to top it off because you, through rest, the plants actually uh, perspire the water. Um, so you have uh, loss through perspiration as well as you have loss through just evaporation from uncovered water. Um, you can control these a little bit, but perspiration is going to be one of your biggest losses of water you're going to have to deal with. So you're always going to have to top off the system. Um, with fruiting plants, there, there are about a dozen or so um, nutrients to be able to deal with. With fruiting plants, however, there's three that you may need to add to your system. Um, there's calcium, potassium, and iron. Um, typically with aquaponic systems, those are kind of hard to deal with. Um, typically, the, and we'll go through this actually more in depth in a later video, but basically, um, I would, if you want to stick to keeping things organic, I would avoid any hydroxides. So people a lot of the times add calcium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide. However, both of those are not organic. There is, however, potassium carbonate and calcium carbonate that are organic, and you can, in, can add to your system. And that also adds to your to a, your carbonate hardness. Carbonate hardness basically acts as a buffer in an aquaponic system. So the more of a buffer you have, the more your system is able to resist change, which can be both good and bad. It's good because the nitrifying bacteria, the actual nitrogen process, creates nitric acid, which eventually will lower your pH. So you're, it'll be resistant to that, but also when you need to actually lower it yourself, or even buff it a little bit, you have to add a lot more. And you have to be very careful, because once that buffer's full, the system will drop like a rock. So when you're trying to lower your pH, once you fill that buffer, the slightest change can really set your system up. So you need to be very careful with that. Uh, we will cover uh, carbonate hardness and buffering later, um, as well as we will cover pH, temperature, and a few other things in a later video. Um, but that's a brief overview of aquaponics. Basically, you're taking the fish raising from aquaculture and the alternative growing from hydroponics 
merging them together so that you have a system that the only thing you're ever actually putting in it is just a good quality fish food and water. 